In America, where numbers and horsepower mean everything, the Corvette is highly regarded as one of the best. But today, I'm going to show you a car that gives the Corvette a run for its money. Welcome to Get to Know Cars. I'm Chris, and today I'm going to show you the 2021 Mustang GT with Performance Package 1. Big shout out to Bruce Woodring Auto here in Henderson, Kentucky for giving us access to today's car that we're going to review. You can find them online at brucewoodringauto.com or stop by and talk to my friend Sabino. He'll be glad to assist you. Under the hood, we have the same five liter V8 as we do in a standard Mustang GT, putting out 460 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. And something really interesting under here is the air intake has its own viewing window. The very front end of the Mustangs were redesigned just a little bit, tweaked just a hair back in 2018. What I really like about the front are the way that the headlights look. I think the actual light with like an eyelash type look around it is really, really cool. You got your three running lights at the front. You got these lines here on the side. Everything just makes it look aggressive, makes it kind of just feel fast. And then you got this little hidden Mustang horse right here on the side, which is just a nice little touch. At the back, we have one of my favorite design features of the Mustang going back to 2015. And that's the taillights, which are very bright and functional, but they're also really cool. I love the grooves. They really stay true to that 60s styling. We also have a considerable amount of technology on the Mustang, including the lock and unlock feature, which you just push the, the four grooves to lock the car. And then when you put your hand in, the car unlocks. And this car also has blind spot alert. Some other cool things that the car has, we have automatic rain sensing wipers, which are really convenient. We got this really badass 5.0 badge on the side, which is not unique to the performance package, but it's just a really cool feature. And of course, we have our shark fin antenna right on the top. But the biggest question is what comes on the performance package one that you don't get on a standard GT? For starters, you get these 19 inch gloss black rims, which look phenomenal with the red on this particular Mustang which are covered by those sleek Pirelli P0 tires, which are perfect for the summer. We also get upgraded brakes to the six piston Brembo brake calipers for extra stopping power. We also get a large strut tower brace under the hood that looks and feels very solid. And on the inside, we get the gauge pack, which includes oil pressure and vacuum gauges in the center of the dash. There's also a retuned suspension, making the car sportier to drive and reducing body roll. Now something to keep in mind is with the performance package, this is all coming from the factory. So in addition to everything that I've showed you so far, we have this performance rear wing, which gives the car such a mean, aggressive look on the back end. I was never a big fan of the really small wings they slapped on the regular GTs. This is gorgeous. And you also have improved gear ratios via the 355 Torsen rear axle. Here we are inside the 2021 Mustang GT. And I think having had one, especially myself, I particularly like the design of them. I think the steering wheel, it feels nice and chunky and beefy, something that you want from an American muscle car. I think it's got a really good design. I think the paddle shifters are a little small but I will say they are very, very functional. They're fun to use, they're responsive, really excellent. Kudos to Ford on making proper functioning paddle shifters. I, I think they're fantastic. Um, I really like the turn knobs for the volume and uh, for your station selection. I think they have a nice feel to them. But the best thing about it are these switches right down here. Obviously this one here is just for your hazard lights. This is to turn your traction control off. This and this, these are your two biggest ones right here. This changes the driving mode of the car. You have normal, sport plus, track, 
Oh goodness, and it even pops up a little notification uh, on the track mode. Uh, there's a drag mode, and then there is a snow and wet mode. When comparing the Mustang to a Corvette, the Mustang gains a huge point just for having a back seat. But how practical is it back here? Well, as you can see, there's not a lot of amenities. You don't have cup holders. There's really not even much of a design back here. It's just basically boring plastic with not much of a design, but you have everything that you need. You got your seat belt, you got seats that are actually quite comfortable and are bolstered quite well. They really make you feel like you're in here and you're secure. And even more surprisingly, there is a bit of space. As you can see, I'm about six foot and I actually have a good two or three inches here and the back of these seats are actually cut out by about an inch, inch and a half to give you some extra leg room. And we also have a little pouch back here for convenient storage. To show you just how spacious it is though, I'm gonna get in the front seat and show you that in this position, it's still practical for the back seat and front seat driver. Getting in and out, nice clean motions, pretty easy. And again, I'm about six foot and my legs are what give me my height. I have long legs and I, it may not be a lot of room, but I do have room. So if I'm traveling with some friends in this car, we can easily fit some people who are my size or smaller in the back seat. We a couple of things that we kind of sacrifice on this model, particularly with the Performance Package 1 on it, is that we don't have nice, beautiful leather seats. But what I have always liked, even going back to the mid-2000s, back in 2005 when they came out with the retro-style Mustangs, I've actually always admired their cloth seats. I've never owned a Mustang with cloth seats. All three that I've owned in the past did have leather. In fact, my 15 had two-tone leather that was beautiful. But I actually really like these. They say Mustang uh, in the back of them. Still got the headrest that you can kind of adjust where you want and then pop it back into place. Huge fan of that. And on top of it, on top of it all, uh, these are comfortable, and you're not going to have to worry about them being super hot in the summer or super cold in the winter. And speaking of hot and cold, one of something I've always thought was cool with Mustangs, again, going back to the like 2005 ones, are these like retro style vents that they have. And you can literally spin these 360. I just think that's absolutely amazing. You have uh, just kind of normal ones on each corner, but right in the middle of these circular ones, I, I absolutely love them. So after going over so many of this car's features, there's only one thing left to do. Get it out on the road and see how it drives. I didn't really touch on the MPG in the main video, but on this one particularly, which only has 1,400 miles, um, the average MPG is holding at 14.9. I think the combined average MPG on the window sticker was 19. I think it was like 15 city and uh, 24 highway, I believe is what it was. So this is Tyler and Chris, we'll get to know cars. We're inside the 2021 Mustang Performance Package GT and uh, getting it out on the road, getting a little feel for it. Thankfully, we had it out the other day and absolutely blown away by oh my the responsiveness and the performance of it. What's uh, unbelievable with this is that it has very, very similar horsepower to my C7 Corvette, but this feels faster to drive it because of the uh, because of the throttle response the acceleration is just so aggressive and ready to go this this car does not want to crawl it, it wants to run this with the 460 horsepower with the throttle response that it has with the gear ratios it has with that rear axle this car is just mean it, it's such a big difference it's such a big step forward than my 2015 gt was now Part of that is the horsepower differentiation. The 2015 uh, GT had 435 horsepower, where this has the 460 that was increased back in 2018. 
but just everything together this car is so much fun to drive and just driving in like normal traffic like right now you've made it you've made Perf a comment perfectly before. docile it's it, it's comfortable it's supple the suspension absorbs everything well it is firm without being stiff and i think it does a fantastic job because we actually had it on some country roads the last time we drove it and oh my god it's, it's just such a cool car uh -oh. you actually do need to drive this yeah. because this is such such a fun car i mean you don't even have to give it that much you know a fourth of the accelerator just takes you so far so fast it's just so much fun the performance package gives it all the things that my mustang didn't have just better improvement a little bit better handling better torque it's just such a fun car it's just it's my car that i had my 2015 it's that refined refined perfected whatever you want to call it this car is just magnificent all around i absolutely love it there's a few things on the inside i think they have have been overdue for an update for a while now but i think they are going to address that next year one of my biggest complaints earlier while walking around it was the engine release uh, is very flimsy very plastic and you yes. really feel have to get to tug onto it and you almost feel like you want to break it i think the thing with that is on cars like this these performance cars and a lot of them do it dodge does it too where you sacrifice some of the luxuries on the inside and things like that so you can have a nice fun fast car we don't have fancy leather seats we don't have fancy metal uh buttons some of the buttons are the mode where you change the drive modes those are those are aluminum which is a nice touch but uh you know we, we don't need a fancy hood popper no yeah, but I, mean, I don't want it to be flimsy <laughs> because it feels like you are going to break it and i do admit it did feel very it did feel very flimsy but i do understand the cost saving angle that they were taking so people can get in this car at an affordable price and just enjoy the sheer driving experience I was feeling, I was feeling the paddles. paddles. The yeah. paddle, you said the paddles were, were better than a lot of the things you've been into. As far as how they function. As far as how they function. Okay. The design of them, they're too small, they're plastic. Well, I mean, I'd rather pay the extra 10, 15 bucks to, uh, to have a firm, stout hood release. Right. But that's just me. <laughs> as a, as a non Mustang person, I have always been, uh, they just name too many things. They have too many models, too many variations, too many levels. Give me a car. I want a car. I want a... They're trying to capture... There's so many car enthusiasts out there and they all have a different idea of what they want. So by creating all those different levels, you're entering kind of these new little niche segments for those individuals. I, I love, see, I'm the opposite. I love the fact that they have that. I think it's awesome. And we are going to put it in Sport Plus mode. Sport Plus mode. And I think a... Sport Plus mode is all you really need in this car. Track mode turns the traction control off, which... I don't want that. No, I, I don't, don't want that liability at the moment. No, not, not on a public road anyway. But Sport Plus Mode gives you everything you need. Absolutely love it. And we're away. And just listen to that exhaust. And what's really interesting, and I, 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 I really thought the exhaust was part of the performance package, but it's not. It, it just came standard on this car. And it sounds so it, good. It's got that gurgle that yes. we all we all want. Um, yes. I will say it does sound a lot better behind the car than inside the car. But um, I love that you can still hear and still enjoy it in the car. You can roll the windows down and you can just have a blast. Even if you're not going that fast, it feels like you're going fast. It sounds like you're going fast. It's just fun. And you get to the speed limit pretty quickly, which is, you know, a blessing and a curse. And then that engine braking kicks in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, you get used to it. You really do get used to it. Um, the very first some... time I drove a car in sport mode and felt that engine braking, I was like, I actually thought something was wrong with the car. I didn't realize what it was doing. 
Oh, wow. That, that was a long time ago. Right. Yeah. I tell you, it puts a smile on your face. And really, what else do you need? Yeah. Uh, and it puts on there very quickly. And this is you. You're not even like as big of a car person as I. Like, you just want a car that yeah. starts and rolls. That's all I want. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I And want. look at him now. Yeah, I can't even uh, stop smiling. Steering wheel has give to it, which I know you mentioned it was beefy, but I like how it has just that little bit of a indentation to where you can really hold on. Get a good grip while right. you uh, try not to. And not to mention, I really like, in, in terms of the steering mode, I, I like how stiff the steering is in this car. I mean, you you really feel connected to the car because you're not going to take your pinky and, and turn the wheel in this car. It's, it's not going to happen. You have to turn this car, and I love that. Oh, I love it. So great. The power comes so easily, and then you have to put in the effort to guide it. I, I, I Oh, God. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. Well, it is for sale, Chris. It is for sale. It is for sale. Contact Sabino and take this car for a drive yourself, you will see instantly how quickly it'll put a smile on your face. So in conclusion, as a Corvette C7 owner myself, I don't think I could give up my vet for this Mustang. But if I didn't have my vet and was looking for a sporty two-door comparing this car and a C7 like mine, I would have a hard time deciding. Because while the vet shines in the styling category, this Mustang wins when it comes to pure driving pleasure. Thanks for spending some time today with me and Tyler here at Get to Know Cars. If you want more information on this car, check out our website at gtkcars.com or contact Sabino here at Bruce Woodring Auto Sales and Leasing for more information. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and put the pedal down. Put the pedal down. <laughs>